Good afternoon. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. This is Mike Parker from Jackson, Mississippi. Don't forget, Britt, Chevy, Frank, and Wiener. Y'all enjoy. everybody we're about to go pick up our freight just getting this ready just in case might need this hard hatch have that within range so when I get there I can suit myself all up we'll pick up a load of pipes or something let's get rolling You guys ready? Just quadruple checking that my trailer is going to come with me. I... Actually not loading uh, pipes like I thought we were I thought we'd be loading like plexi pipes or plastic pipes or something I don't know if you can see them out the, the window there concrete pipes huh. going to be taking these back to Winnipeg a couple of trucks in front of me here now one two three four that I can see for sure and they're loading another couple over there. I don't know how quick this process goes here. This is my first time here. But, uh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's what we do. We found a new truck stop must have just been built and by the looks of it not very many people know it's here yet so I'm letting you know we're just west of Calgary on Trans Canada Highway uh, west of Chestermere before Strathmore so bef between Strathmore and Chestermere there's a new truck stop here what do you know big Esso lots of parking in the back here and they've got a Burger King, a KFC, a convenience store. Come check it out. It's always nice when we get some extra parking added, right? Now we just got to let people know it's here. Don't let too many people know though, okay? Because then I won't be able to get a parking spot here next time. <laughs> okay, so this is our load here. Uh, we're sitting pretty at about 93,000 pounds gross. There's 57,000 pounds of concrete on my trailer. And probably about another 5,000 pounds of equipment. <laughs> Straps and chains. <laughs> okay, so uh, 
got this little piece up here and then we have my tarps in there and then we have the dunnage in here which is holding this from rolling forward with a chain over it that's also uh my tarps are doing something probably not doing much to help but it makes me feel better they're they're helping they're helping and then I was told when I was tying it down by the guys there that I didn't need to tie these two down underneath here. I just had to tie the top one down and that'll hold these two down. Well, you know me. I'm like, nope, not good enough for me. I wanted every single one tied down. So every single piece is tied down. Every single piece has corner protections, either rubber with those plastic or this to protect my straps. is a lot of concrete. That's why we have the triaxle, so I can haul more weight, right? And then at the back here, we have another piece of dunnage, which is being held down by this chain. Now this chain is really, really tight on here. You can see it's dug into the dunnage itself. It's not gonna go anywhere. This is uh, how they told me to tie it down. And that's how everyone else was, except a lot of people weren't tying down the bottom ones. Like they told me that you don't have to tie down these bottom ones. Where are you going? I'm going to Winnipeg. And they started sort of laughing at me. You know, that's why I say, even when people laugh at you for what they think is using too much equipment or too many straps, just ignore them. Use the amount of straps you think you need. And then a few more. Better to have too many than too few. So, there we go. You'll see me rolling across the prairies, taking this to Winnipeg. I'm gonna see if I can unload tomorrow, Friday, but I think it's gonna be a Monday morning delivery. So go home for the weekend, deliver this Monday morning, and then uh, grab a new load from there and head out next week. I like it. It feels good. It's a good feeling load behind me. Uh, it's working old blue pretty hard. But she likes it, don't worry. She likes to work. So yeah, this is the, the new ESO. I didn't even know it was here. I almost drove right past it. but It's got a ESO card lock. I don't have a fuel card for here. But uh, I have a debit card that I can use in the store to buy stuff. Medicine Hat, Alberta. I wanted to quickly stop here before we get into Saskatchewan because Saskatchewan's got way more expensive fuel. It's way cheaper here in Alberta. So I want to top up my tanks here and then head east. This load is pretty heavy, but 
We have an advantage on this trip. There's a strong wind coming out of the west towards the east and it's sort of pushing us along like a sailboat. We're pretty heavy, so it's not enough to push us completely, but it is helping quite a bit. It's annoying when you're outside the truck because your hat always wants to blow off. And you're always running after things, but uh, when you're in the truck on the road, it's nice having that extra little sail in your, or a little wind in your sail. A little sail in your wind.
destination on the right side. Find J Travel Plaza. That's all folks that's it that's all she wrote that's all I got for you I got nothing else I'm out of energy can you see my face look I can I can make myself look awake is it working I'm good coach send me in another 10 hours uh, maybe not maybe another 10 hours in bed how about that uh, well, thanks for uh, hanging out today. Uh, it was a good day. So we started off in Calgary. It took pretty much all day or all morning and afternoon to get loaded. I think I got out of there like 2.30 mountain time, which would be 3.30 here, uh, central time. Uh, well, actually, I'm still in Saskatchewan. I'm still in mountain time. Saskatchewan doesn't do daylight savings time because you know, they got that right. So uh, half the year they're over with Alberta with mountain time, like this year. During the summer months they go party with Alberta. And then in the winter months, uh, they come uh, keep warm with us Manitobans. They help keep us warm in the winter time. So uh, winter time they're on central time and mountain time during this time of year. Anyway, it's confusing. I wish daylight savings time wasn't a thing. What a, what a useless invention. Also that people can what, have one more extra hour of daylight or just a little bit more daylight in the mornings is that what it's for so everybody's got to mess with their entire schedule and their entire life just because a few people want the sun to come up a bit earlier earlier i'm not a fan of daylight savings time i'm actually on the team that says let's end that nonsense let's just pick a time like, we'll still have our time zones, like Newfoundland time, Atlantic time, Eastern time, Central time, Mountain time, Pacific time. We'll have those time zones across Canada. So let's just pick a time. Either it's daylight savings time or not daylight savings, whatever it is. Stop changing the clocks twice a year. Messing with everybody's heads. Who thought of that idea? Like, why was that considered a good idea? That's, that's the page I'm on. I don't know. What page are you on? Do you like daylight savings time? Are you a fan? I haven't really met anyone that cares. It's usually either people just don't care or they're very much against it. And I'm very much against it. So, which camp do you li lie in? Or are you one of the fans that are like, absolutely, daylight savings time's the best. I love it. I love changing clocks twice a year. It keeps it fresh. Is that you? That, that's cool if it is. I don't understand that, but I don't have to understand you. It's, we're different people. Tomorrow we're getting home though. I'm hoping I can deliver these uh, these cement or concrete pieces tomorrow yet. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try hard. We made it to uh, Atchison, Alberta on this trip in time to get unloaded, right? Maybe I can do it again tomorrow. We can rush home. I'm delivering these to a job site that's like right around the corner from our yard in Grand Point. So it's literally, it's, it's right there. 
So I'm guessing if I don't make it in time tomorrow or if they don't want to unload me tomorrow, uh, I'll do it Monday, Monday morning, and then I'll go. Maybe they'll have another reload going to Atchison again. But I don't know. I don't want to pull these heavy loads every time. But I mean, yeah, the, pay is, the pay is pretty good. But old blue needs a break every now and then, and she's been pulling hard. She's been working hard. She's been working harder than harder than me, really. I mean, shifting gears, holding holding the steering wheel, waving at passing drivers. I mean, that's tough work. But she, she's been pulling a lot of weight. Gotta give that to her. Let's see if my computer here tells me when they want it. I'm just gonna look in my messages here, in my uh, almighty computer device here. This is how the load gods communicate with me. I send requests up to the skies and then from the skies come their 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 loads. They throw them down just just like that. Uh, see, th this is the only time this thing gets in the way is when I'm trying to read this screen here. Like, it's right in the way of this thing. Okay, well, he picked it up in Calgary today. Yep, that's right. Okay, it's going here. Okay, oh. We have a little bit of flexibility, apparently. They want it anywhere between the 4th and the 8th of August. Well, today was the 4th. So they could receive it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. I think I'm gonna try to get it off my trailer tomorrow because then I don't have to worry about it Monday morning. It's one less thing to, to do on Mondays. But if it comes down to it, it looks like they've already made plans that uh, they'd unload me Monday morning. Yeah, that's okay too, whatever. I'll get up early on Monday, go bring it to them if I have to, and then uh, go pick up whatever they got next for me. If it's another load of floor joists, cool. All right, I'll, I'll do whatever. Just, wanna, just gotta keep old blue moving. That's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit the bell. You know, you probably watch other YouTubers, so you know the drill. Leave a comment down below, helps with the algorithms. The thumbs up helps with the algorithms. Uh, I have a merch store. If you want to buy a shirt, you can help us out with our uh, our IVF bills a little bit and buy a shirt. I get a little bit of a little bit off of that. Um, it's down below all my videos. There's a shirt store there. I, I got to make some new designs soon. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. I never know how to end these things. I'm, a, I'm an awkward vlog ender. Uh, high five.